Hi, so we're back in Autodesk Inventor 2021, and we're going to take a look at using um, uh, parametric dimensions in uh, in our 2D sketches. So basically, this is creating uh, you know sketches that are um, that are that where the dimensions are formulas. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do a, a part file. So we're going to click on part, and we're going to create a sketch. Okay, and on that sketch, we're going to go ahead and create um, create a rectangle. And that rectangle, we're going to dimension uh, to be uh, six inches. So we're going to go ahead and, and create the, the rectangle is going to be, uh, let's say, eight inches. Okay, so eight inches, and we're going to zoom all. Okay, now on the second part of this rectangle, what we want to do is we want to make it half as wide as, or half as tall as it is wide. Okay, so we're going to click on the side of the rectangle. The dimensioning tool. We're going to move the dimension over. We're going to click again to set it. But instead of putting in a number, we're going to reference the other dimension. To do, so to do this, we're going to go ahead and click the other dimension. Now notice that we're editing dimension D1. I just clicked on D0. So notice that the variable name is lowercase d number 0, D0. And all I'm going to do is do the division symbol. Okay, this is standard division symbol in programming anywhere else. And divide by two, and then hit enter. Okay, so there we have it. So we have uh, we have our um, our see our function here fx. That's our to show that it was a function. And now, and it's divide by two. So now, if I went ahead and changed this, let's say I made this ten inches, and hit enter. Notice that the the dimension that is a function of the original dimension, the parametric dimension changes also okay so this is all well and good you know we can change the size of things um, we can also reference dimensions in other sketches uh, if we want to um, uh, but let's take a look then when we want to use it to position things so let's take a look at a, a situation where let's say we want to have a couple of shapes inside the rectangle Okay, let's say we're going to have a rectangle and a square here. Okay, so, so we're going to go ahead and dimension the rectangle, dimension the circle to be one inch. We're going to dimension the square to be one inch. Actually, you know, let's go ahead and uh, actually do these all driven dimensions. So let's let's say that um, let's say that this dimension is driven off the diameter of the circle. Okay, so that's D2, and we're going to go ahead and click the um, the uh, a green arrow there. Uh, there are some other ways to do this, but we're going to do it using um, using uh, dimensions. So, so also notice that we can move our dimensions around. Notice that when we're out of the dimensioning tool, we can move these dimensions to make things neater. Okay, we're going to click dimension again. We're going to do the side of the of the square this time, and we're going to go ahead and just reference the circle dimension as well, and click the green check. Okay, I'm going to get out of the dimensioning tool, not by clicking the dimensioning tool again, but by right clicking and clicking cancel. And then I'm going to go ahead and just kind of move these dimensions out to make them a bit neater. Okay. All right, so there we have it. We have our square, we have our circle, and we have our... Um, our rectangle outside of that. Okay, so I'm going to go back in and I'm going to make this eight inches just for just for to keep it interesting here. All right. So now what we're going to do is so we have this this original um, this original um, uh, item here. Um, we could even go further. We could say that oh, the, even the circle is driven off of the top dimension, right? We could say oh, the circle is just whatever the original size is divided by eight, right? If we wanted to. Okay, so um, so that's our challenge for this time. Let's just make everything driven off a single dimension. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do here is that we're going to uh, to place these the circle and the square inside of this rectangle, and to do that, we're going to figure out what the space is between them. Okay, so so here we have um, so here we have a, a circle, a square, and then we have some distance between them. So notice these distances here. So here and here here and here, okay? And we have another problem because the circle, notice that when we do a dimension to the circle, okay, so if I click this dimension and click the side of the, um, the rectangle, notice that the circle is actually dimensioned from the center of the circle. So we're gonna go ahead and make our first dimension from the circle to the side of the rectangle, okay? And here's a place where 
nearly everyone makes a mistake. So, so basically if you click on the, let's try the first time wrong and then we'll redo it correctly. So we're gonna click on the dimension. We're gonna click on the side of the circle. Okay, and notice there are two, uh, notice your mouse. Just don't click yet and just move your mouse around. Notice there's a one glyph, you know, the little picture next to the, the pointer, the mouse pointer. Right now there's an arrow between two lines. Okay, that will get you to the circle, the center of the circle, okay? That's wrong, okay, don't do that, okay? We're gonna control Z to undo it. Okay, so we're gonna click the dimensioning tool. We're gonna do the side of the rectangle. Notice that if you get up to the middle of the rectangle, right along the center line, notice there's a second little picture, okay? And it's a circle uh, with a, two lines above it. Okay, that's the one that you want. Okay, so don't click, notice there are two of them. So kind of move your mouse around and you'll see the change there. Click on that one and now we're on the edge of the circle, okay? And that's what we want in this case. So rather than dimensioning to the center of the circle, we're dimensioning to the edge, okay? And that's gonna make our life a whole lot easier in this case, all right? So let's go ahead and uh, move the mouse up and click again, all right? Um, and what we're gonna do is that we're going to, uh, to kind of think about it first, all right? So notice that what we're really doing is we're dimensioning the space between these shapes, right? So the shapes are going to be equal width, and then we want three equal spaces between them. Okay, so that's one space here, one space here, and one space here. Okay, and that space is going to be one, you know, each of those is going to be one third the space left over when we subtract the widths of these shapes out from the total width. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's go, let's, you know, we're gonna use all reference dimensions here. So we're gonna click on D0, right? That's our original dimension. And we're gonna subtract from that. Um, we're gonna, we can just subtract every shape, right? So we can subtract D2, then we can just subtract D3, okay? Um, I think that's better than multiplying a single one because what if we change those in the future? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so you could you could do a multiplication there, but let's just do a subtraction. So we subtract D2 and D3 from D0, right? That's D, you know, D0 minus D2, that's the circle, minus D3, that's the width of the square. We put those in parentheses so that we don't get surprised by the order of operations, right? Okay, and then we're going to, uh, so that's our width, that's our width without the shapes in it, right? Okay, so currently that's gonna be six inches. All right, then we're gonna divide that by three, okay? And there we have it. Okay, so that, that makes sense, right? So we have two inches, right? Two inches to here, another inch, that's three inches, two inches over to here, that's five inches, another one is six inches, and then two inches over to the side here. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the square. So we're gonna click, move the mouse, click again. Okay, and guess what? Luckily, <laughs> luckily, let's go ahead and close that. We can double click on this. We can just copy and select. Okay, we can copy this and then do, you notice it's UL there. Okay, I won't get into what that is, but just select the whole thing, click copy. Okay, close it, and then we're gonna click on this other dimension. Control V to paste um, in Windows, which you are in if you're doing Inventor. So, uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and cl click Enter or the green check. All right, and that gets us to it, all right? Now, just to prove it, we can't actually dimension between the two, but just to practice, we're gonna go from the square, go over to the circle. Um, notice, we're gonna notice that glyph again next to the mouth. We're gonna kind of move around the circle till we get that you know edge of circle dimension there gonna click on it and then move up. Now, it isn't going to allow us to do the dimension. It's gonna give us an error. Okay, we're gonna click accept and we're gonna get that driven dimension just to prove it. So we have two inches, two inches, and two inches there. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is that we're going to, um, we're going right click, cancel to get out of the dimensioning tool, and then I'm gonna just kind of clean up my dimensions here. Uh, click off, and we can move up the other one, just kind of make everything neat. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and dimension uh, from top to bottom. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of the similar thing, all right? So, so basically we're gonna do the square first this time. Okay, so click on the rectangle down to the square. We're gonna click on it. This time we're gonna reference the height, so it's gonna be D1, right? That, that's our four right there, so D1. Then we're gonna subtract um, the width of the square. That's a D4, or sorry, the height of the square. So the height of the outside rectangle minus the height of the square. We're gonna put that in parentheses. 
And then we're gonna divide that by two, right? Because there are two spaces and click the green check, all right? And we're gonna do the same thing. So this time we know what's gonna happen here. Um, now, in this case, we're not gonna copy, right? Because what if what if the, the size of the, of the circle changes, right? Um, uh, we, you know, we went out of our way to make this thing flexible, so let's keep it flexible. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click on uh, the outside rectangle. We're going to click down to the circle. Notice we're going to move around till we get that um, edge of re edge of circle uh, picture there. Click and move out. Okay, in this case again, we're going to do the the height of the exterior rectangle uh, minus the diameter of the circle. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put those in parentheses and we're going to divide by two and enter. Okay, and so there there we have it. So so basically we have this um, we've you know, we've we've equally and um, you know, we've equally laid out uh, these uh, shapes relative to one another. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and finish sketch here. Okay, we're going to scroll out. And um, just for just for our purposes here, we're going to go ahead and extrude. Okay, and just for fun, we're going to make it. We're going to click OK. All right, and that's our one edge extrusion. And then just for fun, we're going to make it um, metallic gold, just so we can see it. And there we have it. So there is our there are our parametric dimensions. Uh, best of luck.